Hi everyone, I keep saying let's get into a lighter reading and all the readings end up being like 30 minutes long, 40 minutes long, um, very heavy readings, but let's see if we can get and let's tap into another energy group. Um, I want to make sure this channel is, stays diverse. I want to make sure everyone gets something from this channel. So let's, let's see. Palm tree, the dragonfly camera, seduction. Hmm. Heartbroken. Clock. Grim Reaper. Engagement ring. Girl with a snake. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so we at least <laughs> it's it's a heavy reading, unfortunately. <laughs> but we at least finally are getting a new energy group, I believe. I don't I don't feel like this is the same one that we've been channeling. Could be, but I don't think so. This is a warning for a man, actually, that's dealing with a very toxic woman. Um, hmm, tell me a little bit more about this. Cassette, outdated thinking, kisses, ascending. I feel like this man is done with his karmic connection. He's done with this narcissistic woman. Tell me more about this. Like he's taking a chance on something else. He's going towards something else. But she wants to control him. She wants to keep him blocked. Personifying, pretending, deluding. She wants to gaslight him. Endings bring new beginnings. She doesn't want him to change. She doesn't want him to evolve. She doesn't want him to heal and do better. Mirroring each other. Abundance. It's almost like he's coming into abundance and she doesn't like this energy. The runner. Yeah, it's like he's trying to run from this. He's not. He's saying not today. I'm not. I'm not dealing with this. The golden mirror. Yeah, this woman is very narcissistic, whoever she is. She might love bomb him too. I feel like the truth came out about this woman. Passion, insane chemistry. She's trying to. Twin flames. Love. Healthy choices. Yeah, I feel like this man is choosing his twin flame over her. He's choosing a much deeper connection over her. He's making a healthy choice. We have making a healthy choice in love and life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Um, this could be a family member. This could be a friend. Could be a, it could be romantic for some. But this is somebody that he's... I feel like this man is leaving behind this narcissist to go be with someone else. I feel like she was creating some kind of block in a, a true love connection here. Um, I feel like this woman is out for blood, though. <laughs> this is a... Hmm. Let me see here. Tell me more about this woman. She really doesn't have good intentions for him. She doesn't want him to grow. She doesn't want him. It's almost like, so for whoever this is for, it's almost like this man is growing. Like he's at a really good place in his life. Like he's feeling good. He's feeling happy. Um, I feel like he found out the truth about her. Like I feel like this is something that he's long moved on from. But I feel like she is, she's wanting his energy back is what I'm feeling. The tower... Ooh. 
Ten of Wands. Yeah, because a truth came to light about her, and I feel like he he saw this connection with her as a burden. He saw it as karmic, and he let her go because he wanted to go have a Ten of Cups with, you know, his actual person. He felt like Ten of Wands and then Ten of Cups. So Ten of Wands is like leaving a burden behind, and I feel like this man is going towards his Ten of Cups. He's going towards you know, true love, happily ever after, happy times, good times, celebrations. Why the five of pentacles? Seven of cups, queen of cups. It's almost like, tell me more about the five of, tell me more about the five of pentacles, the seven of cups, and the queen of cups. I feel like she wants to create some kind of illusion here so that he does not end up with his Queen of Cups. Like, she wants him to get rejected. She wants him to, um... I almost wonder if there's black magic being done here. Seven of Cups is, like, choices, illusion. Like, she wants him left out in the cold. She wants him to make a choice that's going to, to, that's going to lead to him being left out in the cold. Why the Emperor and the Ace of Wands? Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords, weird, huh. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Yeah, she wants him to get rejected. She wants him to... She wants him to get rejected by somebody. But I feel like he's already with this person, or he might even be thinking about being... He might even be thinking long-term marriage with this person, or maybe even considering asking this woman to marry him. I feel like this is a man who knows who he's in love with. He's not, um, whoever I'm channeling today, it's like this man, oh, sorry, you guys can't see the cards. I'm sorry, I know I need to change my setup. Um, whoever this man is, I feel like, I feel like he already knows who he loves. Even if it's complicated or whatever, he knows who he wants to spend his life with. He knows who his twin flame is. He knows who his person is. And I feel like there's a girl, there's a woman here that doesn't like that. This is a karmic woman. Could be an ex, a third party that he entertained, but it could also be a family member. It could also be a friend. But it's like this woman wants him to be rejected. She wants him to... She wants to sabotage things between him and someone else. She wants this man to be rejected. She wants this man to... Um, I actually feel like she never had good intentions for this man. I feel like this is a woman that always wanted to hurt him. She always wanted to control him. She always wanted to, uh, like, manipulate him. This is, like, somebody who's very, um... This woman is... This narcissistic woman is very damaged, and she's not... She's jealous of this Queen of Cups that this man loves because she can't be this Queen of Cups. She could never be her. She might be looking at her, spying on her, and she's like, I could never be in that energy. You know, I could never be gentle. I could never be loving like that. I could never be um, powerful like that. Like, I feel like this is a woman that really hates herself, and she hates the people around her. I feel like she really hates, um, how do I explain this energy? just very bitter but I feel like she's always th this isn't like a woman that's very free-spirited she's not very open-minded she doesn't have the potential to grow or heal really honestly I see a very um very negative woman and a lot of people are damaged that's a normal thing but with this woman I'm channeling it it's like she's very narcissistic she's um how do I explain this energy She's almost the type where if she sees someone have something she doesn't have, she wants to take it away from them just because she can. Like, this is a very evil woman. 
this is the kind of woman that's it's like she sees other people happy and she just she can't feel happy for them she just thinks like like they don't deserve it like I want to take it away from them like how dare they have something I don't have this is the kind of woman that will like compete with other women and I'm not like it's normal for women to get jealous of each other a little bit to some degree like it happens I think it's normal like to some degree but this is the kind of woman will that will like glare other women down if she goes out in public or she'll like go she'll actually go up to like a woman and say something rude to her um or she'll do something like just like super competitive with other women like someone that just really thrives like like a very evil woman that just really thrives on dragging other people down on making other people feel bad about themselves uh so she feels better about herself you know what I mean like the kind of person that just just no empathy um not emotional just just a very cold woman and I feel like this woman is very jealous um I feel like this woman is also very insecure about her appearance um I feel like for this energy group I really feel like for, so so like I said, I don't think this is the same energy group I've been channeling for the past week and a half. It could be. I'm, I'm not feeling like it strongly is. But, you know, take it if it resonates. You know if this is your energy group or not. Um, like I said, this woman could be like a mother or a sister. It's some kind of karmic connection. Could be an ex of yours. But I, I just feel like a very... <laughs> just just a very icky energy from her and it's not it's it's not like you know like it's normal sometimes like people do get angry like if someone gets pissed off and they get hurt like sometimes they do lash out that's not the energy I'm feeling like things could be going great for this woman and she'll still tear other women down she'll still be competitive with other women for no reason like nothing's ever enough for her this is the kind of woman that's just like always always insecure always bitter always um hating on other people just wants to drag other people down um she doesn't want any it, it's not just women I mean it's I think she goes after women particularly but it's not just women it's actually anybody she doesn't want to see anybody grow she doesn't want to see anybody heal she doesn't want to inspire people um she doesn't want to see people happy like she really genuinely just wants people to suffer like it's a very evil narcissistic woman I feel like this woman feels like she can't change or like she, um, I feel like she feels like something happened to her. This woman might have actually been sexually abused. And so I think there's something that happened to her that she's very angry about. And now she kind of has this mentality of like other people deserve to suffer too, you know, like I did. I just kind of get this energy and, and like I said it's not it's not like a one-time thing it's not like a really good person who's just going through a bad phase where they're kind of angry and bitter or depressed like we all go through those phases this is not what this is this is a woman who's always like this she's always even on her good days she's still very negative she still wants to tear other people down in fact I think her best days like I think that is I don't think love makes her happy. I don't think this woman cares a lot about love. I don't think she's capable of, of actual love. This is not the kind of woman that will express her emotions. She'll only express emotions if she feels like she needs to, to um, like seduce someone or get money from someone. This could be someone that's actually into prostitution or something like that as well. There's some kind of weird energy here. But it's it's almost like somebody that's just very... um. Sorry, my hair is right here. <laughs> She just really wants to tear everybody down. I'm just tapping, you know, just bear with me if I repeat myself. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm tapping into the energy and sometimes it's like there's more energy flowing through with this person. I'm just, I'm tuning into her energy. I'm, I'm getting a sense of her perspective, her mentality, her emotions. You know, that's what, I, that's what channeling, that's a big part of what channeling is. So I'm channeling that and bringing that information forth for whoever this is for. But, but yeah, it, it's like, I was going to say, like, I feel like her best days are actually when she tears other people down. This is like a psychic vampire type. So I almost feel like if she makes another, it's so sick, but it's almost like if she makes another woman cry or she like, like she likes having control over other women. This is like mean girl energy, like super competitive with other women because of her own insecurities. But she'll, this kind of woman will act like she thinks she's a bad bitch, but she's honestly very insecure. Like this is the kind of woman that will not... She will not leave the house without makeup. 
nothing wrong with wearing makeup, but it just, it's just that energy of like, she has to, she's all about her image. She has to look a certain way. She has to, very seductive, basically, you know? Um, all about her image. Yeah. Yeah. But she, she, her happiest days are when she tears people down. It's, it's honestly, it's really sad, but like when she, when she feels like she can bully other women or hurt other women, it's almost like she wants to hurt people the way that she was hurt. And that's what makes her feel the happiest. Um, so like, I'm just trying to clarify that because I know some people might be watching and be like, Oh my God, what if this is my girlfriend or what if this is like the person I'm dealing with? No, like if you're this, you would know this person's sick. You would know that this person is sick in the head. Like this is someone you're well aware of it, it. This relationship already ended. So you're well aware of the kind of person this woman is. Like if this is your story, if this is for you, you know, what kind of woman that you dealt with, you know what I mean? Um, just, just a very, very sick woman. Yeah, whether it's a family member or a friend or an ex-lover of yours, whoever she is, just just a very bitter woman, just somebody that just wants to hurt other people. Somebody that really almost just evil where she really just gets off on on making other people sad. Um, yeah, she feels anger at the universe almost because I, I keep getting something with like for some of you, it's like prostitution or some kind of sexual abuse where I feel like she went through something and she's like, well, you know, I'm going to take this out on other people now. Like I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do unto others what was done to me or I'm going to, um, oh, this is, this is a sick energy. I hate, to, I keep wanting to do a light reading and it's like not happening because I almost, I actually got pedophilia for someone. I almost get that this woman might, ugh, not for everybody, but this woman might be a pedophile for some She's really sick. Like, when I say she's sick, I'm not talking about somebody who's a little bit damaged. I'm talking about, like, this woman has a lot of demonic attachments. Whatever was left in her, it's not there anymore. She's got a lot of demons that are working through her to hurt other people. Her desire to hurt other people is so strong that there's actually demons that are working through her now to be able to hurt other people. Um, again, she just likes control. She likes money. She likes glamour. She likes control. Very shallow woman. Doesn't really care about love. Uh, yeah, really icky energy here. Hmm. Wow. Sorry, just bear with me. I'm seeing what else I can feel from this. She doesn't play fair either. This is somebody that won't... She doesn't have any problem lying to get her way. She also... So she doesn't feel attracted... It's, it's a really interesting energy because she feels very insecure about her appearance or she feels very insecure in general. But I do feel like she uses her appearance to get what she wants from people. We have seduction, attraction, flirting, date, hooking up, temptation. Uh, let's see... This energy. I feel like this man, this is somebody from this man's past. I, I feel like he already, he already saw through this woman. Now this might be, um, just thinking here, this might be like a woman that like kind of strung him along or something. And then he found out that she just wanted his money or she was just bored and lonely. Like she just wanted his attention for an ego boost, um, for some, or she, he found out something about her. There was some kind of, there was like things coming to light with this card here. And then there was camera. I'm going to look more into that too. There's the camera card too. And, um, she might try to blackmail him. Honestly, I'm getting, this is a weird energy. She might try to blackmail him. You don't want this woman and her demons in your life, though. If you're this man dealing with this, like, let her blackmail you. If she's like, I'm going to tell this person this and this and this about you, be like, beat her to it. Be like, you know what? I'm going to tell this other person the truth first. I'm going to have this, this clarity, this communication. Because this woman wants to block you from a Queen of Cups type or from somebody. This woman wants this man to get rejected. And like I said, it's not just... um she's like a psychic vampire type and like I was saying this isn't just like a temporary energy where she's you know occasionally here and there and wants wants some wants to see someone hurt she she loves this she loves fucking with people's lives she loves seeing people hurt 
it, it's like a game to her. Like it's almost fun for her. So I'm just clarifying, like, this isn't somebody that's just, like, hurt and bitter and angry right now. This is somebody who genuinely just gets off on hurting people. Um, like I said, maybe even hurting children, sadly, is honestly what I'm feeling here. Oof, gross. But, uh, yeah. Wow. Wow, this energy. I love how I keep trying to do a light reading. My spirit guides are just like, nope. <laughs> God, even though this is like probably another energy group, it's still, this is really heavy. This is really intense. But yeah, this man is the one that she's currently playing the game, playing this game with, I feel. Um, she likes being in control too. She really needs to be in control at all times. I feel like it's also just about tearing other women down. Like she just, it, it's it's kind of like a homewrecker energy, but she doesn't even do it. It's it's almost like this woman like is a homewrecker, but she doesn't even do it because she loves the man. She does it because she can do it. She does it because it makes her feel powerful. She does it because she just likes, like she just genuinely doesn't want to see anybody else happy. She genuinely just likes causing, and again, these demons are working through her to cause pain through her. Because she, there was almost like maybe the trauma she went through, she like lost so much of her soul that it's like these demons were able, there was like a space inside of her for these demons to come through and work through her because she had this strong desire to cause people harm. You know, very sick, very evil woman that you're dealing with, that this man is dealing with here. Um, let me pause this and see what I can channel off it. I just feel like something came to light about her, but it wasn't like a rumor or anything like that. It was something that like happened directly with her or like, um, like I think that, like I said, I think that he realized that she was just using him for money or she was just using him because she was bored uh, or she just kind of um, like she realized like that she was just kind of sick and just kind of like playing games. Like she liked getting an ego boost or something from him or she liked, um, I don't know, something came to light about her where he saw her true colors and he was disgusted by her. He was like, oh yeah, this is somebody that I would never want to be with. So I think that she hates this Queen of Cups because... So there's a warning here for a man where this ex of yours is stalking you somehow. She's keeping tabs on you somehow. She's finding out about you because she sees that you're with this... For a lot of you, I think you're already with this Queen of Cups. Like, I think you're engaged to this woman. Or I think you're considering marriage with her. If you're not, I think most of you are already with this Queen of Cups. But for some of you, maybe you're just considering it. Like maybe you've told people in the community, like, hey, this is the woman I want to be with. Um, and I think in a way you're being spiritually tested to see how committed you are to this true love of yours, to your person. Are you going to let temptation get in the way? Are you going to let karmics get in the way of this? Are you going to go back to, you know, old cycles here? Or are you going to move forward with your true love? Like, I feel like someone's ending a karmic cycle here. I feel like somebody's, somebody is being tested by the universe almost. But there's a warning here that this woman is, she's spying on you. It's a very sick energy, but it, it's like she's, I feel like she's spying on this man. Because he's over her. He doesn't, he doesn't, whoever this, this toxic woman is, this kind of seductress type, he doesn't, the relationship is over, no second chances. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't have any feelings for her at all. Like, he thinks she's disgusting. Like, he doesn't, um, he saw her true colors and there's no going back from that. He saw how evil she is. He might have seen something demonic in her. Like, he might have actually seen, um, I don't know. There's just something where he just saw something. He saw th saw through her. He saw, he realized what she was doing. If she was playing some kind of game or if she was trying to get something from him, like money, he saw through it. But, and this could be someone from like your distant past. And there's just a warning here that this person's spying on you. And again, it's a karmic test. You need to stand strong and set your boundaries and not give this this demon the kind of energy that she's wanting. And you need to cut her out, whether this is a mother or a sister or a friend or an ex-lover, whoever she is. You need to not let her get in the way of your connection with your true love. Because there is potential for engagement, for, you know, happiness, true love with, with this, this Queen of Cups, whoever this is. 
But yeah, this woman wants you to be rejected by your actual person, or she wants to cause conflict and drama between the two of you. Some might even be trying to do black magic to do that. That needs to be cleared up. I feel like she's going to try to to blackmail you for some, or she's going to try to seduce you. Like, she's going to try to play some kind of game here. Um, and again, for her, like I was saying, for her, this is just fun. It's just she likes messing people's lives up. She'll she'll wreck, she'll be like the homewrecker type. Or maybe if she's like an older woman, maybe this was like how she was when she was younger. But like someone that would like, you know, be like the homewrecker type just, just because she, she enjoys it. Just so she has that power and that control, you know, just to prove to herself that she could have any man that she wants. You know what I mean? Like someone that will like go sleep with a married man that has kids and ruin that. And she doesn't even want to be with him. She's just, she's just doing it just, just to prove that she can, it, it's like an, it, she's so insecure. She's like, I, I just, she'll sleep around a lot. I feel just to, um, just to prove she can get anyone that she wants. So anyway, you know, what I'm seeing with this is she's aware that, for most of these men in this energy group, I, I really feel like you're already living with your person, like you're already with your true love, like you're in like a commitment, like you're thinking about proposing to them, you're thinking about getting married, or you guys already are engaged, like maybe you proposed to them and you posted pictures on social media. Um, for others, I feel like this woman just knows that you're... She's aware of this woman, whoever the, she is. She's is, she is aware that there's someone that you're either already with or that you want to be with. And she is aware that this is like your soulmate or your twin flame. This is a very strong, deep soul connection that you have with this other woman. And this, this, de this demonic woman isn't really capable of deep emotions or deep soul connections. And so to her, she's just so shallow that she's like... She's like, I'll get him back by being seductive or I'll cause, you know, black magic or I'll cause some kind of drama or I'll, I'll get her to reject him somehow or I'll, I'll make, I'll spread rumors about him. I'll do whatever I need to do to, to break this up. It's like, she's just so nasty because she doesn't understand soul connection. She doesn't understand the kind of bond that these two, this man and this woman have. She, to her, it's all about appearance. And so she's looking at this woman. She's like, this woman's not prettier than me. I'm prettier than her. I am. I wear more revealing. Look at this like dress she was wearing. She's like, I wear more revealing outfits. I'm, you know, my hair is um, like a, a, a sexier color than her, her dull hair is. Or I'm, you know, my... <laughs> I'm more attractive or I'm more financially well off or I'm more, uh, I'm, I'm just sexier than her. Like that's, it's, it's, it, she doesn't understand like in terms of emotional depth, she's just like, well, I think I'm more attractive than her. Like, what does she have that I don't? But deep down, it's like, she's jealous because she knows she could never be this queen of cups. This queen of cups is loving, empathetic, nurturing, supportive, um, and this is like this, this de demonic woman is the opposite. She, again, she doesn't want anybody to be happy. She doesn't want people to grow. She wants to drag people down to her level. She might even honestly have like, uh, partnerships, agreements, soul contracts with demons. She might, it's gross, but she might also, she might actually have sold her soul pretty much. She might actually have, I mean, I guess you can't really sell your soul. Like, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I guess you kind of can. Um, I mean, you can't really, cause it, if, I don't know. I don't, I, th I think it's like, I mean, I'm just, I don't want to get on like a whole rant there about that. Cause it's like, I don't, I don't think it'd be like selling your soul. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like in the next life, like she'd probably be free of this, but I think it's almost like she, it's almost like she's getting money or something from these demons in exchange for, for, um, it's like she has soul contracts she's made with demons and she gets power. She gets control. She gets the drama. She thrives off. She gets money. She gets, she gets certain things out of it pretty much is what I'm getting. And she does the demons bidding is what I'm feeling. Really gross energy. But yeah, she wants to break this cut, this happy couple up. She was a karmic. She was meant to come into this man's life and just teach him certain lessons and then wrap it up. But, but again, she's just, she's coming back around 
to try to seduce him, try to cause conflict. Again, for some, I feel like she might be aware of what's going on on social media. Like maybe you posted engagement pictures, like of you getting married to your person or something like that. And she's like, well, like she just wants to cause drama because it says looking at your photos, missing you nostalgic. And then we have engagement rings. So I almost feel like she found out something like she found out that like. Because like, I really feel like most of you have been with your person, this this Queen of Cups, you guys have been together for like a few years or so, I feel like you've been together for a while. And I feel like you just maybe like the past year or so you posted like engagement pictures or something like you posted something or, or like you guys were like on holiday or something and like you posted photos on social media and you don't know that this woman's actually stalking you. Oof. For others, like I said, it might be that you just want to marry somebody like you or you want long term with this person and she knows about this, like she knows that there's another woman and she wants to come in and be like, well, what does she have that I don't have? Love call. Yeah, someone might make, be calling you. Yeah, someone's going to try to call you because they're going to want to break up something. They want to cause conflict. They want to break you up from this from your actual true love. They want to stab you in the back. Meeting and conversing, feeling they might come in. Um, if this is like a toxic ex of yours, this woman might come in saying like, oh, I've, you know, like, can we get together? I'm thinking about you. Like, can we get some coffee? Maybe we could be friends. You know, it's been a year or two since we talked or however long, like, you know, maybe we can, um, maybe we can just get together and just, just, uh, just catch up, you know, and, and it's gonna, Oh, oh, I see what's, ugh. I think I know what she's going to do, actually. For some, I actually think that she's going to tag you on social media. She's going to, she has something she's plotting is what I'm feeling to try to cause drama between you and your person that you want to marry or that you are getting married to that you're already engaged to. For, for some, I think she's going to try to meet with you somewhere. Like she's going to try to, um... Like, she's going to try to ask you to, like, go meet her for coffee. She might, she's going to try to come off very authentic, very, you know, it's been a long time. I've made some changes. I, um, you know, I just miss talking to you, that kind of energy. And I feel like when you go meet her for coffee or you go somewhere with her, she's going to, like, tag you on social media or she's going to, like, take a picture of you when you're not looking or something like that. And she's going to, like, post it and tag you. And then I feel like your girlfriend is going to be like, what the, f like, what the hell is this? Like, what is this? You know what I mean? Like, she's going to, she's going to try to make it seem like something it isn't, you know, like, like, let's say, let's say you do tell your girlfriend, oh, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to meet with my ex or whatever. Um, but just like as friends, like, you know, I, I want to see if there's potential for friendship there. She's going to like, she's going to tap, she's going to post something that's going to make it She's going to try to make this this Queen of Cups think that there's something going on between this man and her when there's not. Yeah, stalking. She's stalking this man. She wants to gaslight him. She's frustrated in this relationship because, again, she's she's not enough. Jealousy, fear, ego issues. Again, it, it there, this woman's not capable of love. It's, it's just more like she... Um, It, it's just more like she, uh, you know, like I said, just, just doesn't, it's like, what does she have that I don't have? It's like, she just wants to prove she can have anybody that she can, she doesn't want to see people happy. Yeah. She's frustrated. She, yeah. It's kind of just confirming that it's like when people grow, when people evolve, then when they transform, she doesn't like it. She wants to sabotage it. She wants to. She wants to keep people stuck in a karmic cycle. She wants to break people down. She wants to call, she loves drama. She loves chaos, psychic vampire type. Again, demonic contracts keeps coming through. She's working with some demons here. Yeah, sudden change. I like you. Talking. Yeah, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna try to catch this man off guard and so she can make it look like there's something going on between them so she can sabotage this many options date boat 
Yeah, she's toxic. The snake competition enemy. Yeah, because he's either already with the one, his person, his twin flame or soulmate, or he's about to be, or he wants to be. She doesn't like it. Yeah, because he's going to get married to this person, and she knows it. She knows that he, she knows about this. So whatever, whether, whether it's energetic, I don't think it's energetic. I think it's through social media. I really do feel like she has been, or she's been told. I'm also getting a warning here where she might actually, um, she might actually have friends stalking this man because her friends might, let's see, healing from heartbreak. We have separation, girl talk, moving on, happily time with friends. I'm just getting something with this though girl talk separation like her friends might be kind of evil too i feel like it's almost like like that mean girl kind of group you know what i mean i almost feel like maybe she has mean friends too where she um her demons influence her friends to do her bidding is kind of what i'm feeling so she's going to try to separate this her, she's going to keep try to get her friends to help her separate this couple is what I'm feeling too. So be mindful of who you add on social media. If you're getting these weird, um, if you're getting these weird requests from like, from, uh, accounts that you're not familiar with, be mindful of that. Or if you have mutual friends with this woman, if you know who this is, be mindful of that because I feel like these friends are very dark as well. And I feel like they're reporting back to this woman. They're like, oh, he posted this with this with her and he posted like like kind of just just like petty, just like talking shit about this Queen of Cups together. And it's kind of like they kind of don't have anything better to do. Just like those, you know, just that that mean girl kind of group where I feel like they're um yeah, it's it's really it's really weird. It's almost like she's like the leader of this like mean girl pack kind of where it's like they just they report back to her. They tell her they watch his social media and when he posts certain things, like if he posts that they're on vacation or that they got engaged or that cuz she might be blocked. I think he might have already blocked her cuz I I get the I'm not seeing any romantic connection there anymore on his end. Like he doesn't he thinks this woman is disgusting. He he cannot stand her. He's already done with her, long done. But yeah, it's like these friends that might be spying because she's she's blocked. I feel like these friends of his might, um, or yeah, like these mutual friends, or these fake accounts that might be on his profiles. Yeah, it's like when they see him with someone, or they, or if he posts anything, like they report back to her, like, like oh he's it's it's almost like they're all delusional too. It's almost like if he's like sad or depressed. They'll report back to her and they'll be like, oh, he's so sad over you. Like he posted this sad picture. Like he posted, um, he posted this rant or he posted this song and like, she's like delusional. Like she thinks it's about her. She's like, oh yeah. Like I know he's going to come back crawling back to me. Like I, I can have whoever I want. Like it has nothing to do with her. He doesn't give a shit about her, but, but yeah, but she thinks whatever, she's so narcissistic that she thinks that whatever he posts is about her. And again, these toxic friends of hers will, will, will tell, like, you have spies on your, if this is your energy group, you probably have some spies on your social media. Um, yeah, it's just a gross energy. It's just, it's just, it's just icky. It's just, it's just nasty. Just the, the kind of women that just tear other women down again and again because of their own insecurities, own jealousies. Some of them, I'm seeing some overweight women too. And there's nothing wrong with being overweight. I'm not judging. I'm not, you know, don't, don't take it that way. But what I'm saying, I, I'm seeing some overweight women for a couple of people in this energy group where it's like the women are, um, that's why she's able, this, this woman might not be overweight or she might be. I'm not really getting a strong energy of that because I do get that she's able to be seductive or that she, at least she was able to be seductive. If she's older now, she was able to be seductive when she was in her prime. But I'm feeling like maybe this woman has like overweight friends. And so these friends of hers are like insecure about their body image. And so they kind of, um, she plays on their insecurity. She knows how to manipulate people. So it, she kind of, she's almost like brainwashed these women into um, feeling better about themselves by putting other women down with her. 
because it's like these these women might have been just um I mean they're kind of they're kind of nasty like her but they're not nearly as nasty as her but it might be like the kind of women that just you know are overweight or insecure about their appearance and then it's like she plays on that and so she um it, it's like she how do I explain this energy It's like she makes them feel better about themselves, but she's manipulated them into feeling better about themselves by hurting other women with her kind of thing. Like, let's say they go out to a club together. Let's say she goes to like a club with like this, this mean girl group. She might like look at her like overweight friend and be like, oh, you're you could rock that dress way more than that girl could. Or you you could you know what I mean? Like something like that where she she teaches people how to be a mean girl with her. But yeah, there's there's a warning here. I know this is probably a heavy reading. Like God, these readings are so heavy. But it's something that you needed to know because this woman might, you know, again, she's trying to cause some drama between you and your actual true love. And again, it's a karmic test too because I think that you're about to evolve. You're about to. You're you're coming into a higher level of commitment with this Queen of Cups. So if you're not already together. I feel like you're about to, you're both going to know that you want marriage, you want long term with each other, and you're going to make it known to people as well. Um, or you might, you know, like I said, for a lot of you, a lot of the men in this group, I feel like you're already with this woman and you're about to propose or you're, you're, um, you've already recently proposed or something and it's on social media. So she, this, this seductress type knows and she wants to block it. Um, she's very bored with her life. So yeah, be, be, be more careful with your social media. And I know, I'm sorry, this is a dark reading. I'm sure you probably did not want to tap back into this woman's energy, but you needed to know because, because again, you want to protect what you have with this queen of cups. You want to keep this relationship safe. You know, like I said, she's wanting you to come in and be rejected by this woman. That's what makes me think maybe for some, she might be doing some dark magic or something to try to keep this apart. Um, or she's trying to spread rumors or she's trying to tell me more about this. We'll get if we get the magician card that confirms black magic. Well, the devil that can talk about black magic too. The devil, the queen of swords, king of swords. Yeah, she wants conflict between these two. The truth is going to come out about this woman though. The moon is yeah, the moon is things that have been hidden. The higher font can be traditions, it can be um, social organizations. So I feel like this is so weird, but I almost feel like a coven is going to find out about this woman or there's something, there's like a divine justice here. Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. So it's like she wanted this couple to be the queen and king of swords as opposed to being the queen and king of cups. Like, she wanted them to be, she wanted him to be rejected. She wanted, she wanted to break this person's innocence to this Queen of Cups. Again, just, you know, what does she have that I don't have? She wanted to break this woman's spirit. But you need to go forward. You need to not let this toxic woman intimidate you. You need to not let these demons win. Honestly, you need to be strong and not let these demons win. You need to you need to stay strong, really. If if you're one of these men in this energy group, and I love hearing your stories and hearing from you guys and commenting. So please, if this is resonating, even just leave a heart comment. I really appreciate it. Helps me get back in the algorithm too. It also helps me channel you guys more clearly when there's that engagement. So I I really do appreciate your comments. But anyway, like I said, this is like a karmic test too, where you really need to stand strong and not allow this woman to win, because you're gonna be a karmic lesson for her. If you're this man going through this, you're gonna be a, a you're you're gonna you're gonna put this woman in her place just by not allowing her to seduce you. You're gonna be like, yeah, this woman, this Queen of Cups does have everything you don't have. You're right. You're gonna have to deal with it. She's not used to being told no. She's used to being able to use sex or use her body to get what she wants. Um But yeah, it's it's also like I said, it's a karmic test for you too. It's, it's, it's a karmic test both ways. For one, you're this woman's karmic lesson. It's almost like you're getting divine justice here too because this woman probably wronged you in a lot of ways and she was probably very toxic and it's probably a part of your life you didn't want to ever look at again. But you might be, you know, it's, it's like you might feel like a sense of relief because you're getting divine justice here with this woman where you're, 
you're going to be the one in control. You're going to be the man that has the power. You're going to be the one to, to tell her no. You're going to be the one to put her in her place. And it's honestly going to feel really good for you. Um, and also, like I said, on your end, it's a karmic test because it's like you're asking for true love and marriage and and, and um, commitment with this Queen of Cups. And I think the divine, you know, your spirit guides are testing you how bad you want it. Are you really committed to it? Are you going to fight for this Queen of Cups? Are you going to be brave and be strong and stand by her side and you guys are going to get through this together you're going to clear this energy up and banish this toxic woman together like are you really going to be strong and stand by this queen of cups side you know it's a karmic test for you like how bad do you want it and there's success there's potential marriage there if you if if you guys you know stand together and stand strong together and not let third parties interrupt this relationship yeah not let any drama come in between you you guys can get past this conflict this woman's not, um, you guys will get past this conflict and have the Ten of Pentacles, have a solid, firm foundation. It's actually going to make your relationship even stronger. Yeah. So you guys really, yeah, you have to stand together. You have to be wise, though, like I said. You need to be mindful who you have on your social media, who might be spying on you, stalking you even driving by your house for some, like this, this bitch is crazy. You know, this bitch is crazy. You need to be mindful. You need to be extra safe, extra cautious right now. Someone could have, if you're not posting on someone's social media, someone could have even gone back to this woman and told her something. Like you might have told, it's, it's really, it's a sad energy, but you might have told like a friend of yours or something like, Oh, I love this Queen of Cups. Like, I think I could see myself, like, this is like my twin flame or soulmate. Like, I could see myself marrying this person, or I think I want commitment with them, or I think I want to, I want to, um, you know, step up and better myself. Like, I think I really, like, you might have opened up to someone about this and been like, I want to better myself for this person. And this could be like a frenemy of yours that might have gone right back and told this evil woman about that. She might be spying on you and she might have gone back and like told this woman what you told, um, what you opened up to about wanting to commit to this woman. Like you told like a, a fake friend of yours about how you love this queen of cups. And then this fake friend of yours went and told this, this evil seductress type, what you, what you told them about how you want to commit to this queen of cups. So really be mindful of your surroundings. Um, you have good energy coming in, though, honestly. You have, I mean, you have a strong, solid foundation with this Queen of Cups. Like, this is going to, this is, like, long-term commitment. Like, this is true love. This is really good energy. Like, you guys are going to be good. You're going to get through this conflict together. You're going to come out of it even stronger. So really stay strong here. Um, truth is being revealed about toxic. And that's not for everybody, so don't go getting paranoid that, you know, all your friends are out to get you. That's that's only for like one or two of you, honestly. But um Yeah, the truth is gonna come out. It's it's honestly it's a rough patch. I know this is not easy to deal with, but I think you're gonna be really happy in the end. Like I said, you're gonna have divine justice. You're gonna have an even stronger foundation with this Queen of Cups. Like you're, you're gonna you guys are gonna get through this together and I feel like better friends are going to come into your life too because maybe this toxic woman's energy like maybe her demons were kind of like around like kind of like affecting you and kind of like blocking um maybe like kind of like blocking good energy from coming into your life you know what I mean like maybe maybe like the demons were kind of looking at your social media too you know what I mean yeah you're gonna have like a new start you're gonna be happy you're gonna it's stressful now but honestly just get through it like you're gonna end up being happy you're gonna feel like a sense of freedom you're gonna feel more like yourself you're gonna use this sword to cut any ties between you and this person um cut doing like a cut and clear ritual possibly uncrossing too to to clear out any bad energy you know clearing away any possible black magic she's done but yeah, with the full card, it's like you're going to have a new start. You're going to feel free. You're going to feel she might have been like weighing you down for a while. Like like I said, maybe spying on a fake account or having her friends spy. And like maybe you felt like a weird energy, like you didn't feel like secure on social media or something like that. And now you're going to like or like maybe like you feel the energy of like someone driving by your house or just something kind of creepy and weird like that. And then it's like you're going to have this like energy shift where you're going to be like. 
like you're gonna feel like free, like a sense of freedom. You're gonna be like something was off, but I couldn't put my finger on what it was, but I felt like a sense of evil around me, or I felt like these demonic energies around me, or I felt something um like I just felt like a bad energy around, and you're gonna be like, Wow, like I'm free of this now, like I'm good, like I'm like I'm solid, like I'm okay now. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna, it's like you're gonna be able to finally put your finger on something that you've been intuitively feeling for a while. Like you've been feeling the energy of someone spying or stalking or wanting to cause you harm or black magic or just something, something feeling off basically. And then it's like, once this information comes in, once this comes through, you're gonna be like, oh, like I know what this is now. I can get rid of these people. I can cut these people out. I can protect myself more. I can, I'll be more mindful. I'm... You know what I mean? It's gonna like it's it's like an epiphany. Like you have this clarity, and then you have this like, like it's stressful in the moment, but then you have this um, sense of freedom and happiness. Like this this burden is lifted off your shoulders. Yeah, you're gonna be able to build with somebody and be the king of cups and have yeah happiness, stability with somebody. Four of wands, page of cups, lots of good energy, judgment, because you passed a karmic test and you get to move forward with the chariot and the high priestess. Your intuition is going to get stronger, too. Your intuition is going to get stronger. Yeah, it's like you're making a judgment call. You're going to be in more of a lighthearted energy. It's almost like maybe you, like, maybe your body has felt tense. Like, you've just felt, like, scared or you've been having, like, maybe, like, since you broke up with this this woman, you've been having, like, anxiety or you feel on edge or, like, you feel like someone, like I said, like someone's watching you or you just feel, like, creeped out. Like, you feel like a weird energy. And then it's like, it's gonna be such a relief because you're gonna be like, oh, I can finally put my finger on like what that was. Um, and truth might be revealed about multiple people in your life. It might not just be one person. It could be multiple people. But again, it's it's like, you're gonna be happy though. You're gonna be good. You're gonna clear these people out of your life. You're gonna move forward with the chariot, the high priestess. Being more intuitive, being more stable. Queen of wands. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, by the Nine of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. Yeah, moving could be someone that's like single too, and like you're moving things with someone from rough waters to calmer waters. Like you're moving things forward with somebody. Okay, it's good energy. Yeah, you're gonna be more powerful for sure. Like I said, I feel like this woman's demons were like weighing you down for a while, but you couldn't put your finger on it. You just felt like you like your body was tense or like you felt like, like maybe you had nightmares or maybe you just felt like or insomnia or you just felt like something was like like a like just like a weird energy since you left this like since you left this woman. And I'm not talking about like insomnia and like nightmares from like depression or like normal anxiety. I'm talking about like the kind where you feel like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's almost like for this energy group, I feel like there's like some awareness that there was like something demonic around you or, or something like, like you felt this woman driving by your house, you know what I mean? Or like you felt like on social media, like you felt nervous about posting certain things because like you felt like you were being watched or you felt like, like evil, like you felt like an energy of like evil, like your body was tense, like you were defensive and you're going to have this epiphany. You're like, oh, shit, it was coming from this this horrible narcissistic woman from my past. And then it's going to clear a lot of things up for you where I feel like you're going to be able to really move forward. Tell me a little bit more about this. Let's wrap this up. Yeah, transformation. Yeah, you're having a transformation so you can get your wish fulfillment. So you can go be with your your actual like twin flame soulmate if you're not already with them. Why the nine of pentacles or why the nine of swords? might be some anxiety because of this final battle because you're like fuck like i don't want to deal with this the hermit and queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles keeps coming up like why like i keep getting the queen of pentacles is like somebody that's like like a third party that's trying to interfere i don't know if it's like an earth sign that's like this evil woman like like taurus virgo a capricorn or if it's like she has earth in her chart i swear the earth the fucking queen of pentacles keeps popping up in my readings you might have some anxiety because, like, you you know you have to clear this energy up. 
Yeah, this might be some... Hmm. No, because I feel like you're over this woman, this Queen of Pentacles. Why the Four of Pentacles and the Star? The Sun. You're going to be healing. Like I said, that's kind of like the Four of Pentacles is like somebody holding on to their... Like, holding on, like, not not sharing their emotions, not, like, feeling physically tense, like, feeling uptight, feeling unsafe, like, it's gonna be someone, like, really holding on to something, but with the star, you're gonna heal from that, you're gonna be opening up, because, because the truth is revealed, the sun, and clarity, po you know, po really good positive energy, because you're gonna see what it is that's been holding you back, you're gonna see through people, you're gonna have, like, this this truth and clarity come in where you see the people in your life that are toxic, like you're going to start really using your intuition and using discernment to know who to trust. Yeah, you have like a karmic cycle ending, like your, yeah, justice, wheel of fortune, justice, ace of cups, temperance. I feel like you're going to become like a more, um, it's almost like being guarded might have put you... Nine of Wands can be honestly a fuck boy, and I'm not I'm not trying to call you guys out, but like I'm almost getting this energy of like this is not for everybody, but like for some of you, like maybe the the trauma this woman caused, like she was so evil that it's almost like it made you like like she rubbed off on you. You know what I mean? Like you're not like this man isn't evil. He's I'm not saying you're evil if you're like this in you know, one of these men dealing with this. But almost like maybe it was like she was so toxic, she was so abusive, she was so um dark and controlling that it's like almost like it made maybe like like a little bit like rubbed off on you it's, it's almost like you developed personality traits from her like you developed coping mechanisms from what you dealt with with her you know what I mean if this was like a mother or especially or if this is like a like an ex it's like maybe like she brainwashed you like she was so manipulative she gaslit you into kind of um Losing your sense of self, losing your sense of like perception, seeing things in a distorted way, not being able to see clearly, not being able to have like a, a firm, solid foundation. You know what I mean? It's almost like she marked a before and after period in your life where before her, I feel like you were more gentle, more, maybe more romantic, more emotional, more empathetic. After her, it was almost like you had like a, like a darker view of people or like you had like a, like very jaded, like very... Um, distrusting, very fearful of people, very um, guarded. And like I said, maybe like certain, it's like certain traumas or certain things that happen in that relationship, that connection, whether it was a mother or a friend or a lover, whatever it was, it, it's it's almost like it might've made you, um, like she rubbed off on you. You know what I mean? Like she maybe, maybe she saw people a certain way and she taught you how to, how to see people that way too, like in like a negative light or something, or she, um, It's like you develop certain traits from her and I feel like these are going to be brought to light. You're going to have epiphanies about these and you're going to clear these traits up and you're going to you're going to feel happy. I know like if you're seeing this reading, you're probably really stressed. You're like, damn, I don't want to deal with this. But honestly, like be patient because this karmic wheel is turning and you're actually going to this is going to end in happiness for you. Like it's it's actually it doesn't feel like it now, but it's honestly going to you're going to be really happy about all this. I know it sounds strange, but it's like you're going to have justice because you're going to feel like yourself more. You're going to start noticing um, when you figure out what uh, whatever is going on, like with, you know, these spies or this energy, like when you you're going to be able to have justice, have spirit guides on your side and banish her and clear this energy out like you're going to be good and then I think you're going to start like having these epiphanies about what traits you might have developed as a result of of this connection or what traits you kind of developed from her you know in what ways did you become similar to her basically and it, it might be heavy but it's it's it like it's like I said it's going to turn the karmic wheel for you so you're going to have justice and you're going to have a new start with the ace of cups temperance is that balance like you're you're gonna be really happy you're honestly you're gonna be good you're gonna be you're gonna be just fine um because you're gonna feel like your true self again you're gonna you're gonna you know what I mean like you're gonna have these realizations you're gonna be like oh wow that was never me like I'm gonna go back to being the person I was before I was with this woman 
I'm going to go back to like the, the qualities about myself that I lost when I was with her that she took away from me because she didn't want me to be myself or she wanted to control me. Like I'm like, it's like going to inspire this man to make some changes because he's going to have these epiphanies and he's going to be like, like, no, like I want to be my true self again. I want to get back in touch with my soul again. I want to be the person I was before her. Yeah, this man's going to have the strength. We have two of pentacles. For some, she is doing black magic, honestly. Ooh. Because she doesn't want, she wants him to juggle. She doesn't want him to have strength. She wants him in eight of swords energy. She wants him stuck. She wants him controlled. She wants him trapped. Tell me more about this. Three of wands. Page of Swords, Eight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, Lovers. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna, he's gonna come, hmm. Yeah, see, she's trying to block this. She, yeah, she wants heartbreak. She wants him to be blocked. She wants him to be alone. She wants him to be like her. She wants him to be the kind of person she is. Two of wands, six of cups. Five of swords. The Empress. I think there'll be victory in the end. Um... New perspective. When he has this new perspective, he has to stand his ground. He can't... Um, how do I explain it? Like, he has to face this. You know what I mean? He has to... Um, he probably doesn't want to go back to facing this. And it's, it's, it's like he has to stand his ground in the sense that he has to be true to himself. When he has this, these epiphanies come in, he has to he has to be true to himself and he has to, instead of being like, you know, like instead of continuing to be like, you know, uh, like taking on certain traits the way that she, you know, letting her rub off on him or letting her control him, he has to stand his ground. That's how he's going to have that victory. When this new perspective comes in, when this clarity, when this truth comes in about what's going on here, he has to stand his ground and be strong and you know, fight for his empress, fight for his actual true love and stand by her side. Um, and she'll fight with him. She'll, she'll fight, you know, they'll protect each other. They'll, they're, it's going to be like a power couple kind of thing here. But I feel like, yeah, like he has to stand his ground in the sense of like standing up for, for his true self. Like he can't, if he gets triggered by all this and he's like, oh, well, screw everybody. Like if he like goes into like a dark space, remembering what she was like, it's it, it's like he might just spiral where it's like he doesn't need don't do that it's like he needs to have a new perspective where he's like wait a minute this isn't this isn't coming back around to torment me or to hurt me this is coming back around to give me these epiphanies on you know a huge thing that might have been blocking me from happiness and blocking me from being who I want to be you know these issues these traumas things that you know and also just her energy being around him possibly for some. So it's like he really has to stand up for for his his soul, for who he wants to be, for who he's working on being. He has to really stand his ground and be like, you know, instead of just being triggered and spiraling, he needs to be triggered by this toxic woman and be like, I'm not going to be anything like her. I'm going to make these changes. I'm seeing now, like he needs to see the truth and be honest about the truth and be like, I'm seeing now how she rubbed off on me or I'm seeing now that she's been spying on me or her friends have been spying on me. I'm not going to be the victim. I'm going to block her. I'm going to block these friends of hers. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a cut and clear ritual. I'm going to block this energy out. I'm going to, I'm going to look at patterns. I'm going to look at how I might've taken on certain traits from her and I'm going to work on fixing those traits. I'm instead of being a victim, it's like you're going to be empowered. You got to stand up for for your soul, for who you want to be, and that's how you're going to have this victory. For some, there is black magic though that you need to um, 
do some uncrossing and protection spells on yourself for. If this is anybody's story, can you guys comment if you want to, if you need some more information on this, just because it's like a very heavy energy, which <laughs> it's trying to get into a light energy, but I guess that's not happening. But, um, But yeah, if this is your story and you would like me to go more in depth into it, like if you need more information on this, on how to clear this up, please comment below so that I know, um, you know, and if, if I get, if I get those comments, I'll tap back into this. So just let me know what you, if you guys, you know, want some more details. Thank you for watching.